The fuel hose carries fuel from the tank to the carburetor. It's common for fuel lines to harden and crack over time. If fuel is left sitting in the tool for long periods of time, it will cause the hose to harden faster. Cracked fuel lines lead to potentially dangerous fuel leaks. If your engine is leaking fuel, you should stop using it and fix the leak immediately. Replacing your engine's fuel hose is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor cover. Before you can remove the fuel tank or the fuel line, you'll need to drain the gas from the tank. I've done that ahead of time, so let's get started. First I'll remove the clamp, and then pull the fuel line away from the tank. Now remove the other end of the hose from the carburetor the same way. Now I can install the new fuel line. The fuel line that comes in the kit is long enough so it can be used on many different engines. We'll need to cut the fuel line down so it's the proper length for our engine. I'll use the old fuel line to measure the new. Once I have the length, I'll cut it with a sharp utility knife. I'll pre-install the new clamps that came in the kit. And now the fuel line is ready to be installed onto the engine. First, I'll install the line onto the carburetor. And then the fuel tank end. And I'll finish by reinstalling the motor cover. And now you can replace the fuel hose on your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.